Hello everyone. So as we are here gathered for a GD group discussion on education is a business or not. So uh, let's start with it. I would like to add my point the, that education is the basic uh, need of every human being. Without education, a person has to survive very hardly in his or her life. But these days, the uh, the quality level of education has be has in has been improved by digital education. But it is also a bitter truth that nowadays education is also becoming a business if you have a money in your pocket then you can see the dreams of best school or college fees of primary and secondary school are so much high that everyone is not able to afford this so uh, what are your views in this yeah education has become a business nowadays for them for the education system the students are just a source of a profit if we see nowadays the uh, technology is growing faster and faster and because of this the parents want the child to be educated more they admit him to most renowned institutions and colleges and also talking about the first step of education that is the kindergarten the average fees of the students in kindergarten is almost 10000 and their max to max they teach them how to eat how to sit and some extra curricular activities so it's look like that education is a commission not a mission i would like to add a point to Pank- what pankaj said even during this covid pandemic the schools are incurring full payment of the fees even though their premises are not being used their electricity bills are not been that much as it would have been if students were attending offline lectures all of them are attending online lectures the only access the school trustee or the authority has is the payment of the teachers even though after that they are they aren't reducing the fees that they uh, you uh, that they of the students which i think which uh, should be re- reduced they are trying to earn profits in this difficult times also which i feel is bit inhuman yes i would like to raise one question is that uh, why why the education system is not uh, equally uh, we can say equality for everybody students okay why the iits are why the iits uh, colleges have good faculty why the university uh, we can say btech colleges is not that uh, faculties that uh, that are similar as iits okay why so why why that discrimination uh, between between them and us Uh, instead we are instead we are paying the same as, as of iits only but why we are not getting equal, equal education as that of does anybody know why what would be the reason for this yes the motive uh, because the motive uh, every every institute should have a motive that uh, uh, we should provide a best education is, uh, uh, to the student so that we can dream of a developed india but the most of education industry taking so much money for admission Uh, admissions because of this talented uh, because of this talented and poor students are not able to join the best institute in spite of that there are a lot of good tutors doing tremendous work in the field of education like mr anand kumar physics wala etc we have to do appreciate efforts of this people when the education said, ed- ed- education is a need of every child but because of lack of resources most of kids are not going to school as anmol said uh, why iit is take iit and uh, btech is both having both same fees but uh, not giving same education as a in i will consider the uh, iit the quality of professor the teaching given example is a very good manner and is a have proper proper way to explain them but in uh, our institute the taking uh, taking students and te- uh, taking teacher like uh, not quality teacher they are just uh, focus on the completing syllabus not uh, not ensuring that the students are uh, uh, understood or not the concepts as uh, hence the education is becoming a business nowadays as atish said the quality of uh, education is decreasing nowadays so people come up with idea of coaching coaching classes which earn a separate amount of profit in their business so so the students have to play twice as the amount to learn a single thing to the colleges 
as well as to the coaching classes so in this way uh, to, the education system is degrading degrading i think it yeah in india possible. yeah in india think... it is considered that the government institutions are well and renowned but also focusing on the government primary schools if we see the government infrastructures and method of teaching in the primary schools are not up to the mark i think uh... i agree with pankaj i think it's government responsibility to establish sophisticated infrastructure and methods of teaching and learning in government school india spends around 2.4% to 3% in total uh, total of gdp from 2015 to 2019 if we compare this figure with other countries we are not spending half of their For example, Cuba, Norway, and Denmark just spending around twelve point nine percent to seven point seven point six to twelve point nine percent. This bit high for spending that much amount of money on for education in India. STEM field, the yes, STEM field, the student or candidate if they are applying for STEM field has nearly very less, and even though they are in this field, they try to. achieve their dream in other countries pursue their dreams in other country or go for higher study in other countries because of that india is not advancing advancing in technology field thus this is all because of this economical crisis that they put everybody in economical background people cannot afford to pay that much amount of money and uh, out of other country they provide scholarships and other other free sector that could help them i think our government should i responsible for this yeah, so would you like from the reason yes uh, to add something wait uh, can we have something some points from dhruv please uh, yeah yes sir, the today's generation education is a business for people but this is wrong education is a right for every person in the world but today the full dependent on money you have it also depend on the mentality of people in a society because they think that if you give more uh, more money also their children gets a good education is good but it's not uh, it totally depends on the ability and the grasping power so rather than paying to the institutes who are not providing that uh, amount of knowledge you should try to do a paid courses where the more uh, more renowned more where the students follow the uh, the professors who are good at their field the i know this is in this pandemic time the the education is uh, one of the great source of income but uh, to train the college teachers who are about online courses or uh, how to manage the classes on online there should be a training to help the in the in this manner and to the point that government should also try to do a uh, survey about uh, survey about the why the students are pursuing the further studies to abroad why the doctoral degrees are more cheaper than in other countries in india compared to india so that's on my point Yes. yes education has be- has has become a business for schools and teachers earlier the teaching was given by a teachers under a tree and they uh, and then many students used to concentrate as it was pro- uh, provided equally for both poor and rich but nowadays people are just caring about money everywhere the uh, same question arises what what the income of your job really is a teaching and giving knowledge a job teachers are not interested in providing proper information they just care about ending of that syllabus what about the additional information and then booking knowledge yes exactly uh, the number of institutes or we can say the education uh, classes uh, are increasing day by day so uh, so their main aim is uh, does not aim to uh, aim to educate people or we can say the uh, uh, students uh, are surrounding them they don't aim to educate people they uh, they only uh, we can say advertise their brand in the market and uh, just increase their funds uh, by uh, uh, decreasing their uh, knowledge of, uh, in on the individual level 
I think so. I would like to give an example of the point that Anmol made that they are increasing the branding. If you guys have observed that if a person tops IIT, all the IIT coaching top coaching classes claim that that person took coaching from them. How is that possible? Do you guys think that is possible for you to attend five to six coaching classes? No. No. That's the point. So I would like to uh, say to oh, Arthi yes, that whatever you are trying to keep it short, uh, because we are almost out of time and we have to conclude. Uh, education is be becoming a business because of the not giving priority to the government colleges and government schools and uh, to and also the parents not focusing on the government they could not put the ch child children in the government schools hence still i think that so let's now conclude yes. let's now conclude our group discussion so i think we all can agree that the education system in India has become an industry of just you incurring profits from the crowd or Indian people. I yes. think we all can agree on that. Yes, yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So let's conclude our meeting. If anyone else would like to say anything. Yes, I would like to say one thing yeah. that we can eliminate this uh, business or we can does not say it is a business, but we can eliminate uh, by uh, eliminating the greediness uh, in the individual level of the person and by just increasing the uh, thinking level and uh, promoting the innovation for the students and providing more opportunities for the upcoming students uh, that are uh, coming uh, in the uh, 21st century and the coming year. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.